Hello and welcome to this short session in preparation for our Louisiana real estate exam. We're going to talk about Louisiana water rights. This is out of the civil code portion of the test, the state portion of the test. We're going to talk about Louisiana water rights. Listen, my name is John Enzing. I'm a licensed real estate instructor in Louisiana and Florida. Listen, if you need private tutoring to help clean up some areas or to help clarify some areas that you're hard to understand, I do private one-on-one, -on -one. that's what I specialize in, one-on-one, -on -one, uh, online, live. All you need is a, a phone, a tablet, or a desktop and an internet connection, and I can help you uh, with your studies to get you past the exam. All you have to do is log into privatetutoringsessions.com. Go to privatetutoringsessions.com and schedule an appointment. All right, let's go ahead and dive in. Louisiana water rights, here we go. There's six terms, erosion, alluvian, dereliction, avulsion. On the other page, when I get to it, it's repairing and littorial. Those are the four, six terms you wanna know when it comes to the licensing exam. So what's erosion? Erosion is simple. Everybody knows the definition of erosion is when land is eroded away by water hydraulics or running water, rivers, streams. And you can see in the picture on the top right where the top arrow is pointing to a bank that's been eroded over time and that's due to the running water. On the opposite side, you've got a small beachhead or a small formation of land that was formed called the alluvian. This is the process of a term called accretion. You may have heard that term accretion in common law. And this is the sand, silt, the waterborne solids or rocks in the water that falls out over time and forms land, okay? Now, for the alluvian, land is formed if you're if you've got waterfront property to an alluvian, you get the possession of that new land. Conversely, if you're on the erosion side of, say for instance, in this picture, this stream, and land is being eroded, you're gonna lose land through that process called erosion. So alluvian you'll gain because it makes land, erosion you'll lose because land is taken away. Then the word dereliction. Dereliction is the bottom picture. So this is nothing more than a dry spell. You're familiar with this. It happens out in the Midwest a lot where water just begins to recede, just go down because of the lack of rain or maybe they're on a lake area, they're, they're, they're working on a dam and, and, and they're releasing all this water downstream. And, and so what happens is the water just recedes, okay? It recedes and the property owner becomes the owner of the dereliction the land is formed there, okay? Nothing through erosion or alluvian, just water goes down. Could be just a drought, a dry spell. And then avulsion is a tearing away. So being in Louisiana, we all understand the hurricane seasons, that these small marsh islands, small marsh pieces of land that can be torn away and swept away with these big storms that come through. That's called avulsion, okay? Hurricane force winds will come and take these marsh islands away. Now, the last two we're gonna look at is called riparian and littorial. So riparian rights, R for riparian, R for river, R for running water, all three R's, riparian, running water, river, they go together. Littorial, L, large body of water, L, littorial, large body of water, lakes, and or oceans, okay? So you can do a word association to help you on the state exam, when they say, which of the following best describes a river, what type of water rights, river repairing. That's what we're looking for. And then if you see something like a lake, large body of water, ocean, we're talking about littorial, okay? So for the state exam, you wanna know erosion, alluvian, dereliction, avulsion, riparian, and littorial, okay? So listen, again, if you need some help, if you, Need some help in, in, in your exam prep? All you have to do is go to privatetutoringsessions.com, privatetutoringsessions.com, schedule an appointment, and I'll give you a one-on-one -on -one, uh, for your license prep, okay? Good luck on your exam, and I do hope to see you if you need some help. Bye-bye now.